So a new exciting era at the Seasiders and Simon Grayson has made the best possible start to life at Blackpool with two wins from two in League One. They look to improve that further this afternoon as they welcome the also unbeaten Oxford United to Bloomfield Road. In the last week, the Oxford boss Carl Robinson has signed a new three-year extension at the club. But they'll be without their forward Malachi Napper for the foreseeable future after he suffered a broken leg in midweek in the Carabao Cup. Oxford getting us started from right to left. Real feeling of excitement at this moment in time at Bloomfield Row with a fresh regime and era. Leading the club forward, good start under Simon Grayson, of course, in League One this season as well. As Oxford play the ball down the left-hand side. Opportunity with the big boys up from the back. This ball will be whipped into the danger area. It's not a bad delivery. It's a powerful header. It's a brilliant header from Ryan Edwards, the centre half, who rose up above everyone else to power into the roof of the net past Simon Eastwood, who had absolutely no chance. The dream start for Blackpool. It was a good delivery, and there goes Edwards. Eastwood between the sticks, absolutely no chance. The centre half just wanted it more than everyone else. Now, how do Oxford United respond down the right hand side? Mackey to the dead ball line, delivers a good ball. It's a good save as well. Anik low to his right hand side. Didn't know a lot about it, the goalkeeper on loan from Rangers, but forced it away anyway. Mackey down the right side and coming in at the far post was Josh Ruffles and Anik had to be alert. So unbeaten heading into this afternoon, Oxford United, 1-0 win over Peterborough last week. Opening weekend draw at the Stadium of Light, 1-0 with Sunderland as well. And they'll look to build on that this afternoon for to come from behind. But they're in possession again with Mackey, who's busy down the right-hand side. But delivered again in towards the far post. It's Ruffles coming around the back. And a decent effort. Something out of nothing there. And for a second, Anik will have been concerned. Not really dealt with at the far post. And there, a diving header just diverted over the bar by that man, Jamie Mackey. Through the midfield, Blackpool try and play it. Loose in possession, though. Hansen dropping off the front. Branagan out to the right-hand side. Again, it's looking for Mackey in the inside right channel. Cleared away by Curtis Tilt. Back with Oxford on halfway. So just work the ball, keep the ball. In towards the danger area. Not a bad delivery. And again, Ryan Edwards... Had some defending to do. Carl Robinson will be pretty pleased, actually, with what they've been able to create, what they've been able to muster in this first half so far. Drove it in towards the box. Headed away inside the six-yard box. Not dealt with fully, though. Now Woodburn out to the right-hand side. Effort on the edge of the box. Whip goalwards. And is that in? No. A pinball inside the six-yard box. I think it dropped to Jamie Mackey at the far post. And he just couldn't quite help it home. It's an important save by Anakin. That's a big chance for Jamie Mackey inside the six-yard box. Got perched on the ball. Surely he would have made it one all. Cleared away at the near post. Only as far as Henry now, who steps over the ball. Right centre of the penalty area, up against his man. Clips a ball in towards the box. Headed away by Tilt. Not dealt with fully, though. Back on the edge. Woodburn hits the foot of the post. The talent on loan from Liverpool strikes the woodwork for Oxford United. Bit of space, the young man. Of course, 10 international caps for Wales. A lot of talk of how did Carl Robertson persuade Liverpool and Woodburn to come to League One, to come and play for Oxford United. He almost got Robertson's side back in the game there. Woodburn again, dropping off the front, trying to link things up as he flicks the ball out to this left-hand side. It's Ruffles over halfway, tries to keep the ball in, succeeds in doing so, but makes it quite comfortable in the end for the fullback Nottingham to deal with it. And a long ball over halfway. Looking for Nondele, and he's down in the penalty area, a foul. Is that a penalty? It is! Armand Nondele drifting in behind his marker. 
And I think Cadin fouls him inside the penalty area. Clever play from the centre forward. It'll be now Armin Nondele against the goalkeeper. And he shoots into the bottom left-hand corner. His third goal of the season, the centre forward. His second goal of the season from the penalty spot. Only one outcome. As he doubles Blackpool's lead at Bloomfield Road. Won the penalty for his side. And scored the penalty for his side. Eastwood going the right way, but couldn't get anything on it. Oxford with Ruffles now. High delivery in towards the far post. Flicked away. Still not quite dealt with, though. Brannigan out at Cadden. The fullback over halfway. Delivers in towards the six-yard box. It's a header by Ruffles. Has it gone in? Yeah, it has. Right on the stroke of half time. Oxford are back in the game. The deficit has been cut by the fullback Josh Ruffles, who's been up and down this near left hand side all afternoon. Managed to sneak in at the far post and forced a header in off the post and gives Oxford a route back in this game. It's a very different half-time team talk, isn't it, for the Oxford boss, Carl Robinson, with them back in this game at 2-1. Long ball forward seeking out Jamie Mackey. Trying to deal with it is Edwards. Mackey's got the better of him, though. Cuts onto his right foot. Now he's got support coming. Shot goalwards by Woodburn. Force wide of his post by Anik. He got in a right mix up there, Ryan Edwards, the centre-half. Mackey profiting. Just a little ball into the path of Woodburn. He just tried to shape it, to whip it towards that bottom corner. Pushed away in the end by the goalkeeper. Really good game, this. Is there a foul by the centre-forward? I'm a non delay there is. Free kick taken quickly by Oxford United. Of course, finished 12th last season in League One. Looking to improve on that this time round. Down the left-hand side with the visitors. Brannigan now, about 20 yards from goal. Whipped into the danger area. Powerful header and it's off the bar. Big, big chance there. I think for the striker, Jamie Hansen. Flicked it goalwards. Anik, no chance to stop it. Only the woodwork saves Blackpool. Cadogan down the right-hand side. Wins a corner for his side. Well worked and patient again from Oxford United. Brannigan out to this left-hand side. It was a decent fizzed-in delivery. And yeah, it's Jamie Hansen, the centre-forward, who flicks it goalwards. He's a lick of paint away from levelling things up. Sort of caused a thread all afternoon. They really have down both channels. Another opportunity now. That's really brave defending. Excellent defending that is by Anderton, the fullback. Cadogan back into the danger area. Cleared away. Blackpool getting ever closer to the three points they want this afternoon against Oxford. Last time they started a season with three league victories was back in 2012, 2013. Hunting that today. Good work. Chance. Good save. Simon Eastwood quickly out the goalkeeper to deny that opportunity. Really good goalkeeping from the Oxford man. And now a break on for Oxford United as they pour bodies over halfway. Cadden, another fullback up and down on this near side. The Oxford fullbacks have been full of energy this afternoon. Delivered in towards the danger. A header. Good save. Really, really good save. It's Jamie Mackey again with the opportunity. But it's Anik that's been up to pretty much everything they've thrown at him this afternoon. You can hear the crowd and the noise being created at Bloomfield Road. And there goes the full-time whistle. A big, big win, making it three in three for Simon Grayson and Blackpool. What a way for them to start life in League One. Full-time Blackpool 2, Oxford United 1.